Hello guys, today I will try to help one of you guys, one of the YouTube commenters named Christos, this Greek name, with eloquent query. So the task is pretty typical, to list the customers with grouping of some of the numbers related to that customer. Sum of charges, sum of payments, amount of charges, and then order by and paginate. It's a live wire component, but it doesn't matter. In this video, it's just eloquent query. And he was trying to do various sum, group, and with sum from eloquent, but it wasn't successful. And let's try to make it work. Visually, the goal is this. I've cloned the project. I received the invite from him on GitHub, and this should be the result. It's in Greek language, but it doesn't matter. So customer name, then amount of charges, total sum of one field, which is tasks charges, then sum of another field, which is payment, and then tasks charges minus payment is the balance, which should be here. And all of the fields should be orderable. So by default, the table is ordered by balance, but you can order by this or by that. And in the database, I've created two fake customers. So there is a customer table and then the main table of charges. So customer ID is the one that we grouped by. And then we have tasks, charges and payment. And from that, we calculate the balance. And one of the things that we could do is to calculate all of those, get the customers and then calculate the balance in the collection after get. So in this case, after get, we would calculate the balance and then paginate. But the problem is by default, pagination doesn't work on the collection. It works only on eloquent query. You can make it work, but then it's a pretty dirty hack, to be honest. So it's better that we calculate everything inside of the query and then paginate. So how do we do that? At first, when cloned the code, I didn't have any answer. I was trying to experiment with this ordering, with this function, and it didn't work for me either for the first 10 minutes, and then it hit me. So what it's trying to do here with sum of total charges, with sum of total payments, and this should be with sum of difference between those, but with sum doesn't accept raw queries or extra calculations. So we need to do something different. And how about just SQL grouping? So this is an example where eloquent magic and all of those functions are not enough because they don't really achieve what we need. And I think there are three levels of how you can do the queries. First is only eloquent. Third is raw queries. And in between them, there is a query builder. And with query builder, you can do almost raw queries or partial raw queries and land on something like this. I will show you the result that I came up with. So customer query, then we join the charges, then we group by customer ID, and then we select everything around customer and then select all the calculations that we need as a separate things to calculate with group by. So it's almost like raw query, but the raw part is just the selection of those additional calculations. And then we have total charges, total payments, difference between them as balance and charges count as the amount. So this corresponds to with count in Eloquent. These two are with sum, but this was not possible, or at least I don't know the method. Maybe you know, maybe share in the comment how to calculate the sum of that in the Eloquent statement. And I came up with just join. And then in the blade, we can use those as variables, as eloquent collection results. So in the table, we show total charges, total payments, balance, charges count, everything that we need. And also those fields participate in order thing. So you can order by them because they are part of the result. So that's it, a short lesson, a short example of how you can combine raw queries with query builder and not necessarily have to use everything that is eloquent magic or fancy methods. But in reality, every case is pretty individual. So you have to experiment with this or that method, Google around, search something on Laracast, search examples, and then come up with your final query. If you want more tips like this one, you can shoot in the comment your own question. I do pick the questions to answer, which are short to answer, which doesn't take like a full day to create a new project for you. And the problems that I think are interesting for my audience, which I think it is in this case. So you can ask questions in the comment below this YouTube video or email me directly, pavlos at laraveldaily.com. And maybe I will pick your question to answer on this YouTube channel. 
If you want to support my mission of helping you, you can check out one of the three products that you can see on the screen. The more money they earn, the more sales they get, the more time I have to shoot free videos like this one. See you guys in other videos.